Can a scientist be a successful entrepreneur? Can they start a company that's actually successful? Yes, they can. And in this video, I'll tell you why they're so good at it. So scientists figure out how the universe works, not build businesses, right? Well, that's what I thought too, until I interviewed a bunch of successful industry scientists for my book, Turning Science Into Things People Need. Five of those scientists had actually become successful entrepreneurs, and they said that their science background and training was actually one of the big reasons they were successful. How did that work? Well, let me tell you what they told me. Reason number one, scientists are not afraid of the unknown. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you are going to run into things you don't know, you don't understand, never seen before. And a lot of people are really not very comfortable with that. Scientists, on the other hand, usually went into science specifically because they were interested in studying and learning about the unknown. One of my favorite quotes in my book is from Peter Fisk, and he says, one of the great things about a science education is you're constantly learning to solve problems you've never even seen before, and that's very useful for an entrepreneur. Reason number two, scientists like to challenge assumptions. If you're gonna start a company, you're going to have to do things nobody's ever done before. That means there won't be a recipe to follow. Sure, there's plenty of business advice out there for certain aspects of running a company, and it's always important to follow in the footsteps of someone else who's been successful. But if you want to be successful, you're going to have to do something no one else has. You can't just go about creating the same company somebody else has. That means you're going to have to challenge assumptions and question what you know. Scientists do this naturally all the time. Reason number three, scientists can make big things happen with few resources. But getting research funding is hard, and scientists have to learn to be creative to get their experiments done with relatively little money. Plus, they spent years in graduate school earning very little money themselves, and this teaches them to be thrifty and think carefully about what they spend their money on. Look, nobody goes into science with the idea of getting rich, and this is just what you need if you want to start a company. Not somebody who's going to spend a lot of money on expensive equipment, but somebody who knows how to demonstrate their idea works with few resources. Now contrast that to a business major who gets out of school and goes and gets a job at, at uh, Morgan Stanley or something, and after a couple of years they decide they want to be an entrepreneur. Well, they've gotten used to having their shirts pressed every morning and spending the weekends at their vacation timeshare. They don't really want to go back to earning very little money like you do in a startup. Scientists are used to operating in that environment. So, scientists make great entrepreneurs. Who knew? If you'd like to learn more about this, there's a lot more useful information in my book, Turning Science into Things People Need. It's available on Amazon in both paperback and Kindle formats, and it's also available on iTunes. So if you're a scientist, and you have an idea you think has commercial value, consider starting a company. If you're not a scientist, but you need a partner for your new venture, consider partnering with a scientist. They have a lot of useful skills you may not have thought about. Thanks for listening. Let's get out there and turn science into things people need.